Emily Vega, and you're watching Maroon Buzz Weekly. Morning, EHS. I just want to invite everyone to come to a meeting next Tuesday in this room right here, 249. If you're interested in learning about UFC, uh, self-defense, and a boy or girl joining the wrestling team, here we are winning the trophy back from Larkin for the first time in 10 years last year. Come to room 249 next Tuesday right after school. Thanks. In football, last Friday's matchup was between EHS and Streamwood. Congratulations to the freshman and sophomore football team for back-to-back -back victories. Great way to be tough and win the day. The dance and cheer teams were amazing. Great performance. Additionally, we had such a collaborative crowd with multiple students following our school spirit of the whiteout theme. Let's keep going. Good luck against Bartley Hawks this Friday, September 16th. Go Maroons! We have been delighted to see many of our fall sports perform well. Today, we are meeting with our golf team and their players. First, let's welcome Coach Mazzei. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me. How long have you been a coach? This is my fifth year as the head golf coach, but I've been coaching for about nine years total. Why did you become a coach specifically for the golf team in this case? Well, first, I love the game of golf. I think it has a lot of opportunities for a lot of young players. I started when I was a young player, um, and so I wanted to kind of spread the love of the game to, you know, to people who haven't had an opportunity to play. Um, what do you enjoy most as a coach? I think I love watching the boys uh, improve their games and, and really spread the, the love of the game throughout the entire school and throughout their friends and trying to get them involved. Um, plus, I just like the competition aspect of it. I love seeing them kind of in, in the moment and, um, you know, kind of, I think, rising to the occasion and the kind of just um, accepting the test that golf, that golf gives to them every day. How have the golf players been doing the first few weeks of the season? They've been doing really well. I think, you know, like any sport, there's a certain amount of improvement that we want to try to um, aspire to. And even though I think sometimes golf, other, you know, kind of compared to other sports, it can offer certain challenges, I think uh, we're doing really well. We're keeping it positive and we're, we're continuing, continuing to improve. What do you hope for this season moving forward? I think my biggest hope is to see the boys kind of hone their games in and find specific aspects of their game um, and try to improve those. I think the biggest, I think one of the biggest areas that we need to improve on is around the green, is, is putting and, and our, uh, using our wedges, because I think that's the best way to cut scores down. So I know, the, I know they don't like hearing that, because I know they want to hit bombs and they want to drive it down the fairway and hit the greens, but um, you still got to get the ball in the hole. So that's why I think uh, you know, using your putter and your wedges is really important. Coach Mazzane is a coach for the Voice Golf Team at Elgin High School. If you're interested in golf or have any questions, contact him at garrettmazade at u-46.org. Here are some of the players from the Boys Golf Team at Elgin High School. What is you guys' name? Morgan. I am Diego. I'm Arif. So how have you guys been doing throughout the first weeks of school? I was doing pretty okay for the first weeks of school, uh, good grades, and I tried to sh do my best in golf. Why do you guys decide to become players for our school's boys golf team? Um, last year I heard about golf on the announcements, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do it, but I decided to give it a shot because I wasn't really doing anything else. And then I started playing, and since it was my first time, I didn't do really well, but I enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun, so I decided to do it again for another year. I did it, I started in my junior year. And I, I started off pretty pretty bad. I was I was doing good, and then I got better. I started in my junior year, and when I started, I didn't think much of the sport. I thought it was just going to be more something I could just do on my off time. But I started to actually enjoy the sport, and I actually want to take it pretty seriously. Thank you to the players for chatting with us today. Please support our players throughout the season. Players, we got this. Give everything you got. Go Maroons 2023. Congratulations to the JV girls tennis team for beating East Aurora last Wednesday night. Suhani and Sophia won first and second singles. 
Kayla, Emily, Melanie, and Bright won first and second place doubles. Great job, girls. Another congratulations to the volleyball girls for their game against Streamwood High School. All the girls gave it their all, and it was successful. Some of the players included Mihita, Amelia, Stephanie, Chloe, and Ashina. Keep it up, girls. In football, last Friday's matchup was between EHS and Streamwood. Congratulations to the freshman and sophomore football team for back-to-back -back victories. Great way to be tough and win the day. The dance and cheer teams were amazing. Great performance. Additionally, we had such a collaborative crowd with multiple students following our school spirit of the whiteout theme. Let's keep going. Good luck against Burley Hawks this Friday, September 16th. Go Maroons! Our teacher highlights are coming up next. Welcome to our teacher highlight segment. Our teacher highlight segment aims to recognize amazing teachers at Elgin High School. Today, we are featuring Mr. Castillo. Mr. Castillo, it's such a pleasure to have you here today. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Thank you for asking. That's great. Well, let's get started. What do you teach and lead at Elgin High School? Well, I'm a Spanish teacher and uh, lead. Well, I, I'm in charge of the, most of the AP Spanish classes. It's AP Spanish language classes here at Elgin High. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching overall for 38 years, uh, 24 here in this country and uh, 14 in Mexico. Uh, so I've been teaching for a while. How did you become a teacher and why did you decide to become a teacher? Well, since I was a, a very, very young uh, kid, uh, I learned that school was a good thing to do. I mean, when I did homework, when I did good in tests, I was always rewarded. And, and I felt that there was something good about teaching also. And that my neighbors, my neighbors, they used to ask me for help to help the little, the little uh, kids. So when I went to their houses and I helped them with homework, they give me treats. So I said, hmm, it's good to be, you know, to help somebody and it's good to, to teach. Uh, so I think that idea started to, to be planted in my mind and I believe that's why I became a teacher. How do you feel about the school year and the upcoming weeks, including homecoming? Well, this year has been much, much better than last one and the last, the last one before 2020. So anything after 2020 and after 21, it's, it's good. And so I feel very enthusiastic about the new kids that I have, the new students. And I hope that everybody shows, you know, that, uh, not resentment, but that, um, that era when nobody could go out, nobody can hang out with anybody was all visual. So we should take advantage of the fact that now we're having another homecoming here. And I'm enthusiastic about it. How is Red Cross Club doing? Well, it's been a, a great, great surprise to see the response of many students. Uh, we just started this uh, club last uh, spring. And even though it was like a last minute um, organization, uh, the kids responded very well. We did very good uh, activities and we are starting with many, many good new members. So it's been great. Is there anything else you would like to add before we end this interview? Well, I love to see new people like you uh, listening to all guys like me because uh, you learn not only from books, but you learn all, also from the experiences of, of uh, all people. And I think that's the, the problem with this new generation that we many times we are disconnected. So I love this project and I hope you did uh, good and I hope you do more, more uh, work like this. So congratulations. It was a pleasure chatting with you, Mr. Castillo. Our students are very appreciative of having you teach here. It was a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you for taking on me for the teacher highlight uh, segment. So I hope everything goes well after this. Thank you. To contact Mr. Castillo, go to room 130 or to email him at ralcastillo at u-46.org. Weekly Maroon announcements from teachers, staffs, and students. Elgin High School, Maroon Strong. September 15th to October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. National Hispanic Heritage Month recognizes the achievements and contributions of Hispanic American champions who have inspired others to achieve success. Take these weeks to explore and discover the highlights of the Hispanic culture. Mr. Martinez is with us today to talk about this wonderful event. What do you do at our school? So I'm the assistant principal for freshman of success. I also oversee the dual language program. 
Please further explain the purpose of Hispanic Heritage Month. Okay, the purpose of Hispanic Heritage Month is to be able to celebrate all the different Hispanic figures, you know, that they have made different contributions into United States of America. That can be through art, it can be through music, it can be through literature. Uh, there is different ways that we are celebrating those champions this month. Do you have any events coming up this month? So we have one of the big events that we have is going to be on October 6th. It's going to be in the auditorium from 6 to 8.30. And it's going to be our biggest celebration for the Hispanic Heritage Month. So we want to invite all of you to come. Who are you going to be recognizing for in this event? During this event, we're going to be recognizing who is going to be Mr. and Mrs. Hispanidad uh, in Elgin High School. Also, we're going to have different celebrations of different countries that they speak Spanish, and we're going to have music that is going to be as part of the celebration. What do you hope students will understand about this event? I think one of the things that I want students to be able to know about the event is the diversity that we have in uh, Hispanic, uh, Hispanic uh, culture, uh, that we have different, uh, different ways that we celebrate our culture, that we celebrate our roots, that we celebrate where we come from. Why do you think it's important to express such events? I think it's important because 78% of the students that are in Elgin High School, they are Latino, Latina, Latinx. So we want to make sure that we are recognizing, you know, our culture and our demographic that we have in Elgin High School. Is there anything you'd like to add before we end this interview? I think the only thing I want to add is that, you know, we want to have, you know, fun this uh, month uh, celebrating our culture and be able to explore all the diversity that we have in our uh, Spanish uh, and Hispanic uh, culture. Uh, so that way, uh, all the students, they have an opportunity to be able to learn something uh, new or something that they don't know about somebody or somebody that comes from a different background that they come is there anything you like to say in Spanish? Solamente queremos eh, celebrar, queremos eh, reconocer eh, este mes de la hispanidad, uh, queremos reconocer nuestra cultura, nuestras raíces, realmente de dónde venimos y queremos eh, asegurarnos de que podamos celebrar la diversidad que existe entre todos nuestros estudiantes y nuestra comunidad aquí en la Escuela Secundaria de Elgin. It was a pleasure to chat with you, Mr. Martinez. Thank you for giving us a better understanding of this cultural event. To contact Mr. Martinez, go to the language department or email him at Rafael Jose Martinez at u 46org Would you like to become EHS Mrs. Hispanidad or Mr. Hispanidad 2022? If so, stop by the dual language office room 115A to sign up. Need help with assignments? Need a fresh start or take a makeup assessment? Come to Fresh Start Monday through Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. There will be activity buses available at 5 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. See you there! We are looking for student pages. If you'd like to page during your lunch or study period, please stop by during that time to fill an application with any of the following offices. Library, Dean's Area, and Main Office. Also, this is an excellent opportunity to run call slips to classrooms and other duties as assigned by the secretaries or administrators. Us Weekly is Elgin High School's news team. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. That's all for this week. Come back next week for Elgin High School's Marumbas Weekly.